Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a time-lapse video of one of my more recent paintings. And we're also going to be talking about niches. Niches. Niche. Niche. However you want to pronounce it, we're talking about it today. Cue the intro music! that I want to share with you guys after years of battling a full-time job while trying to become an artist and posting on Facebook and posting on Instagram and building my website and building my email list and YouTubing and doing everything and coming home after a long day at my day job just to paint as much as I could within the last few hours of the day while also having to eat dinner and shower and then coming home on the weekend and just painting and painting and painting instead of spending time with my family, I have finally conquered and become a full-time artist. I'm so stoked, guys. Thank you, everyone, for supporting my tiny little art business and also making this all possible. Thank you to my husband, Christopher, who has supported my art and helped also make this possible. He is a huge part of this. I am so excited! Now, back to the video that we were actually going to do today. Okay, so today we're talking about niches. I think this is one of the most difficult things for many artists to do. Just from having to do it myself and also reading forms for artists and all of that, finding a niche, it almost... It's such an uncomfortable topic for artists because we want to have the free reign to paint and draw and create whatever the heck we want. And I think the word niche makes us feel limited and makes us feel like we won't be able to continue experimenting and dabbling. And that's just not the case at all. Um, pretty much just creating a niche just helps you find and market to your correct right buyers. And that's what we all need and want to do in order to sell our work and make a living off of our artwork and our creativity. So my niche I have established um, is artist who creates oil and watercolor paintings of Earth's natural beauty in hope that people will strive to protect and conserve the planet in the style of saturated, high contrast landscapes. So when somebody looks at my work, hopefully at some point they'll be able to say, hey, that looks like a Peyton. You know, I recognize that style. I recognize the interest in subject matter and I can just tell it's a Peyton. One of the things that we all hope for is being known for our artwork. And this is how you become known for your artwork. You get into a niche. People within that niche want your stuff. You become on high, you get to the point where you're on high demand. People start to know who you are because so many people are buying your stuff. It's, it's the process and it will help you to narrow down to a niche. On the marketing side of it, if you know who your right buyers are, you know where to find them, to take your marketing directly to them. When you have your niche, you ask, who are my right buyers? Where do they live? Where do they hang out? What are their hobbies? Where do they like to vacation to? And when you have all these answers, you can start meeting your buyers out and about, right where they are all the time. You know, for environmental niches like I'm in, an outdoor trade show is an awesome place to be. A composting trade show is an awesome place to be. Anything, any sort of event that has to do with your niche, be there. Become the, that person that the event coordinator, every time they have an outdoor event or a sports event or 
whatever your niche is, be that person that the moment you call, they're like, oh, you again. So you you're, you want to be in this event again. Okay, sure. I'll see if I can find a vendor that wants to have a live artist. Or, yeah, we needed some paintings in our front lobby area as people are walking to the event. And next thing you know, you're hanging up your artwork for free. And so many of your right buyers are passing through the hall, past your artwork, all day long. It doesn't even have to be like a trade show. It could be, you know, like a company function. Offer your services and get paid to paint at a party. I mean, that sounds like a great way to make some money is just doing what you want to do in front of people. Um, There's so many different ways you can go about it. You know, I've heard of people that they're more into digital designs and they get really big into like phone case prints and things like that. And you can, heck, you can even start a series of paintings within your niche that would look great on towels or coffee mugs or whatever the heck. And next thing you know, you're, you're getting art licenses and you can find ways to find your right buyer as long as you have your niche. Instead of just marketing to everyone and feeling like, uh, well, everyone is everywhere. How am I going to, like, get these people to buy my painting? Well, if you can't tell them why this belongs to them, they don't care, you know? But a family like mine who lives on the West Coast and loves the ocean and loves the natural great outdoors, if If you took my parents a painting of the San Juan Islands or uh, Cannon Beach or something like that, they would love it because they know that place. They love those places. And they would be considered that right buyer. I try not to market to my parents too often. They have too many of my paintings anyways. (laughs) But you get my point. Um... So find your niche, find right buyer, find out where your right buyer is hanging out and go sell some paintings. If you're into creating sports paintings, well, you know, I've heard of downtown areas of cities shutting down full blocks of just bar after bar after bar so that people can walk around on the sidewalks and the streets with their drinks and go bar hop and watch the Super Bowl. If you are a sports painter or something like that, take your paintings and go set up on the sidewalk. All of your right buyers will be walking past you all the time, all night long. And these aren't all of the ideas, but it gets you started thinking. And um, once you know who these people are, finding out how to sell to them is so much easier. Another part of having a niche is actually truly caring and being passionate about the work you're creating. If you can have this fiery passion about the work you're creating and you can tell a story behind it, like why you decided to paint it and and give the customers or the viewers, the audience, these stories behind each piece, it makes them feel so much more connected with you And it makes them feel so much more connected with the artwork itself. And buyers love to feel a connection. They want to be given a reason to buy it other than, ooh, it's just pretty and I like it. You know, I I painted this orca painting um, while I was out visiting my parents in Washington a few months ago. And I have gotten so many comments about it. And it struck me that A, people love orcas. I mean, they really do. Any sort of endangered whale, you know, people love the ocean. They love ocean marine mammals and things like that. And that's, that's very much the case. But what also I realized was that when I started marketing and posting the image of the painting, I had this whole story about why I wanted to paint it and why I loved the painting so much, and why I was so passionate about it, 
And I shared that story with across all of my platforms, my social media, my website, people who just passed by asking me about it. And I was able to tell them, you know, hey, the Puget Sound orcas, they're super endangered right now and they're not doing well. And I grew up on the West Coast and I love the West Coast wildlife. And it just saddens me that the pod numbers are dropping so drastically and they haven't had any successful calves in a long time. And, you know, next thing you know, everybody's like, oh my God, yeah, that's great. It's the story, folks. The fact that there is a reason, a mindset behind the painting, it makes people think about that story every single time they look at that painting. And every single time they look at that painting, they like it just a little bit more than they did before because it, it starts that connection. And that connection is what truly matters to people, I feel like. Yes, a painting can be beautiful and sold very well, very quickly, without a story. But people love having a story to go back to and think about every time they look at it. Create stuff that you're passionate about. Create stuff that will have a story that lasts a while in the viewer's mind. And it will make people love your paintings that much more. So I really want to just encourage you guys to go into your studio or wherever all of your paintings are and seriously look at each one and come up with a list of the ones that you enjoyed creating the most, why you enjoyed creating them the most, the things in life you are passionate about, whether it's politics, uh, people and social norms, environment, sports, the list goes on and on and on. Um, and just really try to narrow down what you feel like you could, you could dive headfirst into and truly enjoy creating pieces around that idea, that topic, and create a niche for yourself. You know, it really will help in terms of marketing yourself and I feel like the moment I sat down with my niche I felt almost a sense of relief because I wasn't so concerned about marketing to the entire world all age groups all genders all of that and I was actually able to be like no these people are my people they are my right buyers and now I know how to properly market to them I was able to come up with a game plan and I feel good about my game plan and I don't feel overwhelmed and freakazoid. So go create a niche. I'm telling you guys, you need to do it. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped enlighten you into the reasons why niches are so important and how you can use them to excel your art business. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a like and then also hit subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Facebook as well. All of my social media platforms are Artwork by Payton and also check out my website www.artworkbypayton.com where you can find all of my work for sale as well as a bunch of other good stuff so check it out also um, if you have any questions about niches don't forget to comment below or you can always email me at artworkbypayton at gmail.com and yeah I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you next week bye